All right, guys, this is my cotton picker. Just bought it uh, a few weeks ago, actually. Been working on a few things off and on on it, trying to get it ready to go. And I think we're just about there with the exception of uh, two holes menus that I need to get later today and put on, but that's about a 10 minute fix. So outside of that, I think she's ready to go. Again, this is a John Deere 9976. John Deere came out with these uh, back, I think, mid 90s. This is like a 97 or a 98 model. And it's four, it's four wheel drive, dual wheels. Uh, so it's a six row cotton picker. So we have six rows here. And uh, we're gonna put her in the field this week. So, all right, so each one of these picking units, and again, there are 16 of them. So these are Pro 16 units which means they have 16 of these bars in. So these bars, 16, and then there are two drums. Each one's called a drum, two drums uh, on each row. So 12 drums total. Each one of these bars has 20 spindles on, and these spindles are what, do, are what does the actual cotton picking. So this edge here where my finger is, is kind of sharp. That's what grabs the cotton. And these will be spinning. But, just back up. So before they engage the cotton, then this turns around and the cotton, the roll actually comes down, comes through here. And this is where they engage with the spindles. Before that, the spindles rotate and they're, they're coming underneath these moisture pads. And what these do is they're dropping a solution. It's mostly water, but it helps keep the cotton, the spindles clean. And so once the cotton, uh, so once the cotton spins around and it's on the bar, on here, on the, uh, the spindles, these doffers, that's what they call, they're rotating also, they're rotating the opposite direction of the roll. So the roll's going this way, and the dolphins are turning the opposite way. So they grab the cotton off of there, and then the cotton comes, and it goes up through here. Now, how's that happen? So under the cotton picker in the belly, there's a big old fan, and it blows air. Now, it doesn't actually blow, the, we don't actually blow the cotton from down here. What it does, it creates, it creates a vacuum and the vacuum sucks the cotton up. And so it sucks it up, goes through here, goes into these um, these tubes, and they blow it into the basket back here. So this is the basket. It's uh, pretty large. It holds uh, somewhere around four bales. And you know, a bale is, you know, typically how we used to uh, measure cotton. A bale is about 500 pounds and so. A good crop, good cotton crop will yield you around two bales per acre without irrigation. Or if you have irrigation, a good crop will be, you know, somewhere three bale plus. Okay, so I'm actually standing inside the basket. So, as you can see, it's quite spacious. Uh, the basket does have a transport or storage mold, so it, the top actually just comes down. But right now it's locked into place facing uh in field mode right now. So again, the cotton comes in, it blows in through those uh the air ducts here. The, six of them, one for each row. And so it blows the cotton in here, and this will fill up with cotton. And then as it fills up, these augers here will move the cotton from the front to the back so you can pack more cotton in. Uh, and it just, it just keeps you in the field longer and, you know, helps you operate a little more efficiently having a full, full basket when you go to unload. And so when you, we unload the cotton, this is the, uh, door. It'll be over the, uh, the module builder, but we got these conveyors, one in the basket itself and then one out here on the door. So we can operate them together. Or I could just operate if I'm trying to top off the module and not run away. I can just operate the door and just move a little bit that way. But, all right, this is the basket. All right, so when we when the cotton basket is full, 
and we're ready to dump. We raised the basket, and so this, so right now it's in the raised position. And so this door will fit over the edge of the module builder, which I'll show you in a little bit. And it dumps the cotton into there. So it just, you know, some old style pickers, the whole basket actually tips over. But, uh, you know, to, uh, uh, keep the machine more stable. This is the design that John Deere came up with with uh, with this series here. Uh, so, yeah, when it's full, this is how we dump it. We uh, raise it up and use those conveyors to move the cotton out of the machine into the module building. All right, so I cranked it up and uh, turned on the, uh, the unit so you can see how they work. But uh, it's yeah, not too bad. It's Cotton, you know, you can see it. You have brand new cotton. And then back here, the dolphin pads, stretch it off the sprinklers. And then I get caught by the vacuum and go up through, through up here. All right, so uh, back here we have our engine and it's inside uh, or under the, uh, under the basket. Uh, and then here are our reservoirs. The one on the very back, back here. This is the fuel tank, hence the label diesel, and it is full. It holds 150 gallons of diesel, so you know how much diesel is now, uh, you do the math. This holds the uh, the water and spindle cleaner, so remember I said the spindles go under the moisture pads uh, to help keep them clean. So this is a solution here that goes to them. And then so each one of those bars, we have to grease about every other day and they fill with grease but this is where that grease come from comes from uh and it's about it's over half about half full a little better so we got enough grease in there to pick out cotton crop this year but yeah so that's about it all right so this big piece of steel this is the module builder it's about 32 feet long and this is what the cotton picker actually dumps into. So when the basket's full, we'll bring the cotton picker up right next to this. The door will open and dump the cotton over down into here. And then this actually comes up and it goes back and forth and uh, the length of the module builder and packs the cotton in there. So we should be able to dump that basket in here about four times before it's full. And then that door on the back will open up and we'll raise the whole machine up, open that door, uh, pull it out, and we'll put a tarp over it. And so here are the tarps that actually go on the module. Uh, different ways of putting them on there. Some folks put them on there before they pull them out of the module builder. Uh, that's the easiest way. Uh, so. But yeah, we'll get some footage of that once we enter in the field, uh, actually picking. So hopefully this video has been uh, helpful for you. If, if you've never seen a cotton picker or didn't know how they worked, uh, obviously this is like a 97, 98 model. So uh, John actually has cotton pickers uh, now that, you know, don't even have that basket part. They or needing a module builder. They build, a, they uh, pick the cotton and build modules all in one go. I can't afford that. I don't have enough acres to justify one one day hopefully either i add enough acres to do it or i'll win the powerball or mega millions either way is fine with me but uh for now this is what we have and uh yeah appreciate y'all for, uh, for watching the video and uh don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and uh stay tuned for more videos uh, see you